And you notice on his, on that same hand, you can see his thumb. He's got the fingernails painted as that one is grounded to third base. They're trying to go 5-4-3, and they do. Campbell to Sclafani and on to Freeman. The one thing's for sure, Saturday night in Iowa City means good defense on this April evening. Yeah, Cropley earning his keep. Off the end of the bat, center field, it will fall in front of Ben Norman. So that air proving more costly by Erickson, the hurler, as Rutgers now has the 2-1 lead. Nice job, good at bat, runner in scoring position with two outs, and guess what? The most frustrating part of the offense for the Scarlet Knights for a large portion of the season, they're able to overcome to get the second run and go-ahead run in this game. Cropley out at second base, Newstrom at third. Ground ball left side. Welsh backhands. Makes the play. And Rutgers holds on to that 2-1 to one lead. A pair of singles, but nothing else to show for the Hawkeyes at the bottom half. <laughs> Should I just drop the mic and yes, walk out on yes. that? It's a true story, by the way. Ground ball up the middle, and Rutgers will get run number four in. This and could be a triple. Yeah, that one goes all the way out to the wall. He's going to try for three. And he's pegged down at third base. Trying to stretch a double into a three-bagger. But Sclafani does bring in Keel. And Rutgers has scored the last four runs. They're up three. Oda and was the center on the basketball team. Runner going 3-2. Struck him out. Throw him out. And a double play as Adams goes down swinging, and then Mason McCoy is gunned down by the catcher, Chris Bolladeus. And it's still Rutgers up 4-1 to one after 7. Iowa's only run came in the third, and it's going to stay that way. Inside corner, Ryan Wears comes in and does the job. Gets the pitch hitter, Luke Farley, and our score stays 4-1 to one as we march on to the night. Knowing the game and knowing the scouting report of the Scarlet Knights with Welsh coming up, safety squeeze could be in play. Communicated that to his infield as well. Squares to bunt this time, lays it down. Oh, he tried to flip it home with a glove, did marching, not in time. Sclafani dives in safe, it's 5-1 to one Rutgers. Almost an impossible play to be successful on, and you kind of hate to say that because there's really not many of those in baseball, but with the speed of Sclafani and the speed of Welsh, a perfectly placed bunt, no real chance to make the play. Had to glove it, even if Jake Adams fields that as a right-handed first baseman, I don't think he's going to be able to make the transfer and get Sclafani at first base, I mean at home. Iowa down to their last strike, and now they have no more strikes remaining. Herman fans Adams, and Rutgers evens the series at a game apiece. Excellent job. Faced some adversity in that last inning. Self-induced with the error and the home run, but settled in. Got the two strikeouts to end the game. A nice win for the Scarlet Knights. Rubber match tomorrow. It's going to be fun. Big time victory for Rutgers indeed. A confidence boosting win on the road and a tough place to play. Iowa was 11 and 1, 12 and 1 actually this season at Banks Field. Now they drop to 12 and 2 with the 5 3 defeat. Each team with 10 hits, but Rutgers where it mattered, plus 2.